Hello, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a really good day. In this very short and concise video, I'm going to go over my notes here, just a couple quick uh, pages here, and talk about RV financing. Yes, RV financing. The key to understanding RV financing is, this is the key, it's the same as auto financing. It is not home financing. You're not f financing a home for 20, 30, 15 years. You're essentially getting a loan, if you're going to get a loan, if you're not paying cash, uh, for five, six years typically. And if you're financially well off, you may pay it in cash, you may pay it in two, three, four years. But normally, normally you don't pay over six years. Just like a car, just like that expensive $80,000 truck that you want, or Mercedes, whatever you want to get. It's six or seven years, five, six or seven years. A lot of times people are looking at a payment. They want to go, oh, I want to only pay two, three, four hundred bucks a month. That's where the RV dealership gets you. Some of them that are unscrupulous. Yeah, who would have thunk? An unscrupulous RV dealership. Uh, that's not a good thing. So they'll take advantage of you and say, hey, uh, we can get you at about 300 bucks a month for 15, 20 years. How long do you plan to keep that RV? Typically, most people keep it for five, and if they really like it, maybe 10, 15 years. So that loan will be long, uh, you know, you'll still be paying off that loan essentially, even when you're ready to sell it at 10 years. You still got another five years, and that's the, the nut, the biggest nut of the note, okay? So number one thing we talk about is payments. You should only pay for, again, two, three, four, five, six years, and if you can, pay it in cash. If you're going to buy, you know, a, a hybrid travel trailer, you know, the ones with the tents on the side that goes for about 15 grand, <laughs> there is no reason <laughs> in this world, unless you're nuts, unless you're a victim, you want to be a victim, or you've been a victim all your life and you're ready to become a victim again uh, to pay uh, over 15 to 20 years. That's crazy. That's nuts. Uh, even if you're buying a $300,000, $500,000, you know, Class A, you know, you know, RV, you only buy that if you can afford it. Seriously, if you only if you can afford it. If you're 65 and you get a 20-year loan, you better hope you live till 90. But then again, you never know. One of you might pass away and you're totally screwed. So again, buy what you only can afford. That's number two. Buy what only you can afford. If you can only afford a $100,000 Class A, do not buy the $500,000 Class A that looks awfully sweet. I've been in those units. They are so, so nice. I would love to have one, but sadly, like many of you, I cannot afford it. So that's where we're at. So let's go over what should be uh, as part of your loan. Number one, and again, I have it on this little sheet. It only says a couple things. The price of the RV. So let's say you're buying a 15, 20, 25, 30, $35,000 know, travel trailer. That's the price you're going to pay. Typically, most travel trailers, you get a 30% to 20% discount. If you're really good at negotiating and it's the end of the year, you might get it for 35 and even 40%. Who would have thunk? Again, these things are not, uh, you know, made out of gold. They're just aluminum and, uh, you know, fiberglass and a little bit of wood. So they're not, you know, collectibles and they should only last 10, 15 years. They're, you know, they're good investments if you want to do some serious RVing, some camping. I would love one right now. So again, you should only be paying a discounted price. If you're playing, paying full retail, Again, what are you? You are a dummy. You're an idiot. You are not using your noggin. You're being screwed over. Don't do that. 
So, next piece of advice. You should only be paying also sales tax. Sales tax is for each state to have a specific sales tax. It should not be more than what the sales tax is for your state, period, okay? And then finally, this is the only other thing you have to pay. I'm telling you the truth, I'm not making this up, is license and title, just like a car, license and title, that's it. So you're paying the RV price, you're paying the sales tax, and you're paying license and title. Are there any other fees? No, most RV dealerships 95% of them will give you a free battery because how can you operate a car or a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or anything without a battery? You need at least one and they give you just typically some cheapo interstate battery that costs them 90 bucks. And they throw it on there and say, hey, we're doing you a big favor. So you get one battery and that's it. They give you a battery. So. You're supposed to get a free battery. They're not supposed to charge you 150 bucks for a battery, a cheap old battery. Propane, if your vehicle uses propane, you should get free propane. You should get the whole, the two, if you have a travel trailer that's two 20s, you should have that filled up to, you know, at least 80%. And then, you know, if you got two 30s, you get that filled up too. If you get a little tiny one, a 10 gallon one, just on your little, little, uh, you know, Travel trailer, you should get that filled up too. So you get free propane, free battery. That's part of the deal. They shouldn't charge you extra for that. And also when you do the final inspection of the unit and the orientation, they shouldn't charge you two, three, four, five hundred bucks for that. That's free. Again, all you're supposed to pay is the price of the RV, the state tax, license and title, and that's it. Anything else you pay is because you're stupid, because you're a dummy, because you want to pay that extended service contract. You know, within the first year, you're going to have all most of your problems, to be honest with you. Most of your problems, and you know, these things are so poorly constructed nowadays, you know, unless you're getting a Prevo at a million and a half, these things are so poorly constructed, you're gonna be taken in back within a few weeks anyway to get this hinge, uh, you, know, you know, this door reattached, the hinges just came loose, this just fell apart, this refrigerator's not working anymore, you're gonna be doing that within the first year, so half of your time. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, it's a get funny thing. You're going to be taking it back to the RV dealership anyway. So it's not like a car. It's like buying a Ford, a Chevy, a Dodge, uh, you know, Mercedes, a BMW. And of course, for you, 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 I know you have one of these. You have a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. I know that. So, you know, those things, how often do you take those things back? Rarely. Seriously, rarely you take those things back. You know, you just get an oil change and just move on and say, you know, it's good. What a travel trailer. They're over there in Indiana. I guess they're smoking a lot of that, you know, stuff over there. I don't know what they're doing over there. They're, they're you know, they're just, the construction quality in Indiana over there in Elkhart is F minus. Let me use the other thumb, F minus. So you got to be aware. You're buying basically a rolling, you know, piece of so-so that's going to be fun to use. So. When I buy my next travel trailer this next summer, I used to have a Class B, and uh, when I buy one, I'm gonna get all this, I'm only gonna pay the RV price, state tax, license and title, and that's it. I'm not gonna pay for an extended warranty. I'm not gonna pay for an, a policy to protect my, you know, the, <laughs> the wax job or the paint job, uh, BS. I'm not gonna pay that. Of course, they'll have three, four salesmen just exhausting you. One salesman comes in, this is what you need. And the next one says, okay, I'll come back in a half hour. The next one says, you're tired. You want to get the hell out of it. This is what you need. And then they leave and they come back. The manager says, oh my God, you didn't buy that? Are you an idiot or what? These people are professional salesmen. By the way, I want to give you a bit of information. Back in the 70s and 80s and 90s and just as recently as a few years ago, I worked in sales and marketing. And during college, I worked at a Mercedes-Benz Porsche dealership. 
And you talk about working people. I, I, I saw from the masters, these sales managers, you know, they were on the border, on the fringes of the legal, you know, being legal and trying to get that deal. Okay. So don't get screwed. These professionals will screw you if you let them. Okay. So again, this has been Jesus. Manuel Menagarza, talking about what you need to pay when you buy your next travel trailer and uh, fifth wheel, you know, toy hauler, class A, B, C. You should pay less. You shouldn't pay more. And of course, if you have excellent credit, you should get that, your credit and your financing done ahead of time. You shouldn't walk into the dealership and say, what do you have for me today, sir? Oh, we got this really nice plan at 25% annual interest. You don't want that. Or 10% interest. You don't want that. You know, you go to your bank, your credit union, and you say, what can you give me? I want to buy a $25,000 travel trailer. What rate can you give me? And they'll say, hmm, how about 2.2%? They say, hmm, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Then you go to the dealership and they're trying to offer you 6%. Huh, that's not so good. So, but they'll say, hey, you know, we'll throw in a wax. We'll wax a thing for you. So again, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And again, I know of what I speak. I've been around the block, as you can tell, from the 66-year-old gray hair. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.